Hello, Eric Schulteis here with an audio precision quick tip. Quick tips provide a brief overview of an APX500 feature or function. This quick tip is an overview of the APX1701 transducer test interface. The APX1701 is an APX accessory device that integrates instrument grade amplifiers and microphone power supplies for designers and production test engineers seeking clear insight into the behavior of their electroacoustic devices. With an industry leading signal to noise ratio of 134 dB, the 1701 provides 20 dB of fixed gain amplification from DC to 100 kHz. The system's power amplifiers are configured as two independent channels, with power ratings up to 100 watts for a single channel into an 8 ohm load. Voltage taps across integrated current sense resistors in the amplifier outputs enable easy impedance measurements. For microphones, either as measurement mics or as the device under test, the 1701 is equipped with pairs of balanced and unbalanced microphone inputs. The balanced inputs include switchable 48 volt phantom power, while the unbalanced inputs support switchable CCP, constant current power, and are TEDS or transducer electronic data sheet compatible. Now let's take a look at the APX500 GUI where you'll set up the 1701. On the output configuration connector, I'll select transducer interface. I have on off buttons for each channel of the amplifier. I'll also select transducer interface on the input configuration. Here we have buttons for phantom power and CCC power. If you have a TEDS microphone connected, you can read the TEDS from the mic manually with the Calibrate from TEDS button here in the microphone calibration window. You can automate this using the Calibrate from TEDS sequence step. There's also an APX measurement called TEDS data to read all the TEDS data and display it in the sequence report. That's all for now. You'll find more information in the documentation provided with APX500. Look for additional quick tips at ap.com and thanks for watching.